Hey guys, Kid Guru here, and today I have a video on uh, uh, Vegas and tutorial that is, and that is keyframing. Uh, basic keyframing. Uh, you know, it's kind of a little bit medium slash beginner, more beginner. Uh, I'm just gonna go into some stuff of event pan crop. I said it with a weird accent. I have no idea why. <laughs> Media generators, rotoscoping, and some effects to make it better. Uh, you know, when you're keyframing stuff like that. Uh, so what is keyframing, or uh, in other words, rotoscoping? And rotoscoping is when you the process I should open up here of uh, doing you know key frame by frame animated you know or either for animated films or free by <laughs> keying frame by frame. And you know this is used in a lot of applications, uh, Flash, a lot of stuff. But um, video editing more likely it's you know used and it's very 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 important. I'm gonna show you some basic tricks and. Uh, you know, um, Vegas. So uh, I'm gonna use this video for Ghost Skateboarding Day that I took of my friends. Now it's not completely done. These are just some clips of them learning their tricks. I mean, if you want to see, uh, here's some. I oh, don't know. That may be a little bit. They're they're good to be honest. But yeah, that's gonna be out another day very soon when I'm done editing it. But I'm gonna be using the beginning as the example. It says skate montage. Now, uh. One thing I would recommend, get some cool fonts. Uh, I forgot to add that in the notes, but fonts. Uh, there's a lot of fonts. Just search free fonts, or uh, I'll leave some links to some good sites in the video description. Um, so, yeah, and you can get some cool, you know, graffiti fonts, stuff like that, to make your video look a little bit better. Um, so, first off, uh, if you notice when I play this through, the beginning part is mainly what I want. I'm going to hit play. And if you watch this here, I don't know if it'll be a little laggy. I hope not. Uh, so, you see that it spins around, you have that visual movement in the background to make it look really cool. So, uh, what I'm going to do, and I'm going to show you how I set this up now. First off, I'm going to make it a little bit longer so you can see the actual event pen crop stuff. Um, so, first, you're going to overlay your text, obviously. Then, you want to go to event pan crop. But, first off, I'm going to show you what we're laying out. This is something called a media generator. Head over to your media generators tab, click. Uh, you can pick whatever you want, but best would be noise texture. Noise texture just has, you know, so those cool backgrounds that can be moving if you add some, dis you know, distortion and stuff like that. For example, I'm using this one, so you can use whatever you want. I'm using lightning. There's a whole bunch of uh, stuff. You can change the colors around, or you can use a cloud cover even. So basically, you get it. You go into, uh, first we're going to go into generated media. I'm going to add some a little, you know, tweaking to it. Uh, you can make the frequency bigger. You can change the noise style. Jagged lines. You want contours. You want rings of lightning. Whatever you want. Choose the noise parameters. Amplitude. Colors. For this uh, purpose, I'm only leaving mine red and black. Uh, yellow and black, sorry. And this is what you really want to uh, focus on now. By default, in Vegas, you're not going to have, uh, I don't know, you might not have it open, but... Uh, you're going to notice right here, if you go to the very edge, you'll have these double-edged lines. Pull it up. That's going to pull up your keyframing thing. Now, you may not see that in the beginning. Make sure you pull that up. Um, this should work for the most Vegas editions. The only stuff that you may not have is masking and stuff like that. And if you notice, as I move along, my these are my little keyframe markers that I did in the video. My progress in degrees is going up. Reason being is that's what makes those background look like it's moving. It changes the degree of the background. And... If you keyframe, what I did basically is I went to every keyframe point and I stopped and I moved it up very little bit. I stopped, moved it up very little bit, stopped. And every time you stop and you add any any slight adjustment, whether it be color, whether it be noise parameters, frequency, whatever it is, if you st that's going to make a keyframe mark no matter what it is. If you change something, it's you're making a new key. You can make them really really close to make it look really really smooth uh or you can make it really really um you know spaced out to make it look a little bit more rough but very cool still. Now you can have keyframing types, you can have it play linear, fast, and uh I'm not positive linear is just basic, uh but fast, you know, it'll be faster, slower, you'll have the thing appear slower in the background. Smooth, it's just more smoother when it transits as it, you know, grows in progress or changes colors, whatever change you make to it. Sharp, be better quality, you know, stuff like that. Hold, I'm not sure what that is exactly, so uh, let's, for this purpose, let's check it out. I, oh, I'm guessing it's just going to hold that keyframe for a second. Let me see. Now, you're not going to exactly see the change in the thing in your video preview, so you, you may want to check on your video preview every once and then. So, I'm going to hit play. And if I notice that, I guess it just holds that, it holds the type of a uh, keyframe there. So, it holds that certain keyframe, I'm guessing. That whatever effect you do, so I'm going to change mine back to linear. So linear is basically what you want, usually, and uh, 
So you can go every, you know, uh next keyframe, you can go last keyframe, delete a keyframe if you want, whatever you want to do. So that's you know, your keyframing marks. You can wanna be more persistent on those and stuff like uh light creating lightsaber effects, stuff like that. So that's just one example you can do by creating uh progress and degrees. I'll be using progress and degrees in a next video another video tutorial with uh intros because you can use these as your background to make the background moving in intros and like I said you can even change from jagged lines to contours or whatever during the video and as you saw here if you watch all of a sudden mine just kind of spurts out and the lightning bolt just stops shoots out. and as you see that's not perfect keyframing as you saw that pause usually there's not a pause there now move on event pan crop you can adjust smoothness rotation you can make the whole background rotate uh, and stuff like that. You can even keyframe in here. Now this this keyframing is basically, and if you're in only Vegas Pro will have masking effects if you want to mask anything over, but uh, you can even keyframe stuff like you rotating the background while it's doing that effect. You know, stuff like that, but uh, it's up to you. It's your opinion. Uh, it's up to you, whatever your video is like. But the other thing you're really going to want to event pan crop really is your text. The text, you can, you see how more keyframe marks is as I move it. I am just made, basically I just took this and I dragged it a certain whatever way do I want to, I just took it, moved it, and if you notice in the window, while I move it, I'm just going to move it with my arrow keys, it actually moves around, and uh, whenever I have it on a certain keyframe mark, I just drag it over, move it a little bit more, and you see there I'm rotating it. You can go right here, actually go to rotation, and click angle, you can say like 360, and do a 360 spin. But well, like uh, so, just set your keyframe right here. And if you just want to do one 360 spin throughout the whole thing, drag it all the way to the end, right here, and hit type in 360. It'll do a three full 360 spin. Um, so yeah, uh, maintain aspect ratio. Basically, uh, you know that'll do stuff like along with a uh, stretch to fill frame. Basically, if you don't want to do that, it's just gonna maintain the at the the way it's uh you know uh the region. And if you want it to stretch out more just to fill the frame you don't have to you can keep it at its native you know whatever your camera resolution is stuff like that or you can stretch it out but the stretching out may look a little bit more you know sh blurry stuff like that you can move it freely uh... you know there's a lot of things you can do in keyframing so rotoscoping like i said process of you know with uh... going frame by frame so i've gone through event pan crop media generators rotoscoping some effects to make it look really cool, like I said, you can use that. Cool fonts will be really cool effects. These media generators of noise textures are really, really cool. You can use solid colors even to do, you know, rainbow colors. Lava is a really cool one that a lot of people like. Color gradients, uh, if you want to mess around with those. Those might be a little bit different, but you can go ahead and do those if you want. Checkerboard, there's some stuff like that. I'm not sure if these exactly have... Uh, let me see here. Do these actually have progress and degrees? Now, these are a little different, but you can keyframe it to your liking. And you have grid position stuff like that. That's a little different, but yeah, it's all up to you. Uh, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna delete that. I don't really need that. Some cool effects. So if you head over to video effects to add in like intros or any, you know, when you're keyframing stuff, some math, like you know, some stuff like film effects. I would recommend st stuff like this. Uh, the TV one, the TV simulator is really, really cool with effects. Like if you see a lot of outros or intros, a lot of people tend to use the TV look effect, and Vegas does have that. So you can search in TV simulator threshold stuff like that you know radial blurs quick blurs stuff like that are really cool during keyframing but then again you know make it your own add some titles into it cool fonts um whatever and uh, another example of keyframing I'm actually going to show you here I'm going to open up a project that I have done I have a couple Vegas projects uh this is one I'll be doing a future tutorial on don't want to save those changes and it's going to take a second here to open up because it has to load all the files and this isn't the best but uh I'll be doing this later on that's a lightsaber that I use and uh, that's in the, the glow effect along with that white effect. That's all keyframing, and that's all it is right there. It's basic. Just using two solid colors, but it does use a lot of keyframing, so that's a little bit more advanced. And we're going to get into uh, anchored tools, but that's for another tutorial, guys. So this has been a basics of keyframing. Hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned for another tutorial, and hopefully you'll get the lightsaber one soon. Thanks for watching, and comment, rate, subscribe, and don't forget to check out our website at www.adrianstech.com and email all your feedback questions whatever at adrianstech at gmail.com also a quick note don't forget to check out our forums uh, I have a previous video on the forums it's also for http colon slash slash forum dot adrianstech.com uh, and yeah also one last note I forgot to add sorry uh, we 493 and tornado chasers staff members of mine will be producing videos to my youtube channel soon so look out for their tutorials as well they have vegas pros as well so you'll see some cool videos thanks for watching